Hello and welcome. It's Julie Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a pour um, and a try. A little bit of a mixture of a pour. I'm not going to mention what I'm going to do just in case it doesn't come out. <laughs> so I will just get into it. So without further ado, I've got this nice little canvas here and I'm going to, um, yeah, play with paint. So this was, it was kind of the dark berry color, but um, it's actually gone a bit brownish. I'm not think no, I'm probably better not use that one today. I might go the pale grey, which I've got mixed up in there. That that looks. I might see what it looks like, but I don't really want to um, use it today. So I'll just try. Actually, that's pale blue. I'm losing. I've got these colours mixed up in that I had in cups, and then I put them into the containers because um, there was leftovers. So. This is actually a blue that was a mixture of paint that I scraped off canvas, off a couple of canvases. So I scraped off a canvas several times and I scraped all the paint uh, into the bottle, well into a container that then tipped it into the bottle because I didn't want to waste all the paint. And it's, turned out this really nice sort of sky blue which is very nice so it's all good I'm thinking let's just try a corner of this because the blue sort of goes with this very deep burgundy color but we'll just play with paint and see how we go as you do remember your art room your rules your way so we'll see how this, yeah, kind of looking very much sort of like um, a mission brown colour, more than my uh, burgundy. I must have added either less or more of something that I don't normally add, but that's okay. I'm just going to go with it. Um, so the burgundy and blue goes well together. And I thought for sure that I'd got a grey, but I haven't. So... I may, oh, what's that one? Oh, that's the grey. Let's see how I go with this grey. Now, my husband's going to come in and make a lot of noise because it's just getting on tea time here and I was in, snuck in the studio before I start to make tea with my hubby. And I thought I'd do a bit of um, playing around with paint, as you do. So this is just a pale grey that I had mixed up again. Never throw your bottles of your paint out because look how useful they come in when you're, um, you know, you can store your paint in them. So this is a bit of a yin and yangy thingy, whatever you call it. Yingy yangy thingy. I think I've put too much paint on there. I need to take it up and over the edge. This is different. Well, I know I've really got to think about what I put in here so to not make it go to a complete mud. So this is the deep sea. It's kind of like an... Oh, I'm not sure what you would say it is. It's definitely a blue, blue-green. And it was it's um, a global colour called deep sea. And I do love, love, love the colour. So let's see what we get. And then I'll put a um, phalo blue in here too. So we'll go a bit of phalo blue. I'm not sure if I want to put it over here. This is the thing. Maybe I'll keep, this is called haze. It's a really pale lilac color. So maybe I'll keep it 
colour over here and this is uh, ultraviolet. So we might just see what that gives us uh, with the blue. I will keep in the bluey theme and put in some, uh, this is cyan blue, it's kind of like an oceany blue. Put a bit in. Oh, it might be a mistake, but you have to try these things, I suppose. Now, I have got a bit of navy. This is a real dark navy that I make up myself out of phalo blue, black, and a blob of green. So, I'll see how we go with it. Now I've had my little um, blower as carked it, it's not working so I'll try with my ordinary blower but I'll just give it a hit with the heat gun first, move that to get rid of any air bubbles. Try and do this slowly to think about what I'm doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Do I wanna yeah. Beautiful. Now, I don't like this bit at all, but if I don't, I will scrape it off. If it doesn't work well, doesn't play nicely. I don't like that at all so off with your head off it goes I might just put a bit of those but that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I love it so I'm going to replace it and hope that I can still save this because that is gorgeous so that's the phalo blue. I will put a, the deep sea in there too. Um, and I'll put the navy. Let's see how we go. I like that pink very much with the grey so See if I can get my way out of this. sent it a bit iffy down there but I still prefer that to what it was that's gorgeous I do like that now I was told not to blow it with my straw out because they reckon the straw looks like elephant feet so oh I don't know I don't want to take anything away because I actually I do love that 
So that's it. Your art room, your rules, your way. You just needed to get rid of that horrible colour. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use that colour. So again, because it's not very nice. But I might try and mix it to see if I can get something pretty out of it. See these, I feel that these edges need softening up. Maybe I'll let it dry off a bit and go in with the blue and they need softening. If, I, if I'm not going to blow them again, but that's gorgeous. Not so happy about this going on here, but it's something a little different. Well, you tell me, I will bring you in for close-ups in the photos at the end. But it still looks like a lovely piece, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I certainly enjoyed doing it for you. I will let the paint dry off. If it does need any further touches, you will definitely be seeing them in the photos at the end. So I'm going to let it dry off. I'm going to go and start cooking tea with my hubby. And I hope that um, you guys have a pleasant evening or morning or whatever it is in your time of the place in the world. So wish you all a farewell for now. Take care until tomorrow. Bye for now.